Invocatory Gnosis. Uh, uh, important. About 15 years ago, there was a group in England called Fathers for Justice, and they were men who were in relationships with mainly borderline and psychotic women who were holding their children against them, were refusing to let them see their children and putting these men through hell. And these men, in order to like, deal with their plight and bring, bring attention to their plight, they invoked gods. And the gods they invoked were superheroes. So they used to dress like Batman and Superman and Spider-Man. And they used to stand on top of public buildings or on top of, the, top of bridges and things like that, high profile places. Uh, around England to bring attention to them. Unfortunately, what started off as a noble idea was taken over by lunatics who had this idea to kidnap Tony Blair's child. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe it wasn't true, maybe it was an MI5 infiltration, we'll never know, but their initial idea of dressing like Superman, Superman came from this idea that they had been emasculated by having taken, the, their status as fathers had been taken away from them using by their ex-women who were using cultural Marxism ultimately as the hammer to the anvil of their psyches to crush them which reminds me the anvil of the psyche second edition will be out before Christmas so do not buy any of those ones online for 300 and 400 euros don't, 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 that's, don't support those gangsters the new one's coming out soon anyway uh, yes yeah, so they invoke gods. They invoke a god, a superhero is just as much a god as any other god. Now, Phil, now that's also why children with cancer and uh, want to dress up like superheroes, Batman, little kids who want to dress up like Superman, Wonder Woman, because they want to invoke that goddess, that god or goddess archetype to help them defeat the cancer inside them. It's her natural state, the fact that children are drawn to it, shows this invocatory gnosis is a natural functioning of our psyche. Now, this is why magic is just as good for atheists as it is for anyone who has a spiritual identity. Now, Phil Hine in one of his books speaks about a, fr a female woman who, <coughs> excuse me, who got a bit of a cold, who wanted to invoke our, uh, a go the goddess Kali in order to uh, build up her sexual powers and she went into a nightclub dressed as Kali with her the makeup around her eyes to accentuate them and she stood on the floor with those laser beam eyes going at the men this kind of she stood on the dance floor of the nightclub going at the men guess what she became a sex goddess and that's a that's a great idea because you, when you, you were pulling these power forces into yourself either by dressing up like them invoking them and bringing them into your own power source and that way you're actually generating forces of charisma from the greek grace of the gods into yourself it's a uh, it's why we do lots of it's why men go and get involved in reenactment campaigns of vikings and all this kind of stuff it's like why like, women like to dress up in kind of things now there's a real way of doing it and there's a cosplay way of doing it. a cosplay way of doing it is just doing it to get chicks uh, to get laid or to look at attention the real way of doing it is to you want to build that power force inside you so that's invocatory gnosis remember that one it's an important one and uh, a superhero is just as good as an ancient god or goddess you can do whatever you want you know you can you can you can generate a power force from a fictional character just as much as you can from um, from an ancient real like god of a religion or a spiritual tradition so uh, invocation gnosis